environmental bill uh, provided uh, that water from lakes and streams go into the Pacific Ocean uh, because uh, there was some called delta smelts that nobody ever saw that were endangered species. And the poor farmers, not poor farmers, big, big, they supply all the, the fruit, all the vegetables, all the nuts that we eat, not only here, but all over the world. And Jose Ramirez was in the forefront with the fight for water so that these farms and the community and these workers who worked in the field uh, could be productive. And it was a tough, tough fight. And it not only uh, ended well when the drought was over, but it carried over to a uh, policy where a big dam was built in the area so that the water could accumulate during times of drought. He was a hero. And then immigration. His parents came over as undocumented people to work in the fields. He was born in the United States, so he automatically became a citizen. And he worked in the fields. And I don't know if anybody has been out there, but you have to understand how hard it is to work in the fields and pick the, the, the vegetables and the fruit. Uh, but he did that. And he was able, through boxing, through support of people in that area, uh, to become a member of the US Olympic team uh, and then go on with this career and to be a world champion. So if people say to me, are you proud of Jose Ramirez? I will say damn proud because what he's accomplished has been absolutely tremendous and it's a great American story.